It's that spirit mode that, that you literally, if you're like an athlete in the zone, you feel yourself taken over by something that's bigger than you are. And it's like a wave that's moving and you either get your board on the wave and ride with it or, or you crash because the wave's going to go. Uh, my wife sometimes says, um, I watch you and listen to you in the pulpit and realize that's not essentially the same person. It's the same man I live with and love and trust. But there's something there that isn't anywhere else with you. Uh, and, and I think that is spirit. You know, I really do. I think God does something through those of us who are... Uh, uh, as the New Testament says, vessels of clay. You know, we're, we're kind of broken and wounded. And many of us in ministry, if you do the Myers-Briggs, are our eyes. I'm, I'm a rather high eye. Uh, but when you preach, you know, you, something else has to happen. Which is another whole conversation. Sometimes an, an eye can do pretty well in front of a thousand people, but it's harder one-on-one. -on -one. But yeah, yeah, the spirit takes over. Luke was correct. The, the, the spirit takes over uh, with sighs that are not too deep for words, but certainly with movement that shapes and informs our words in ways we sometimes didn't anticipate. Uh, sometimes the playwright will say, I, I hear the character speaking to me when I'm writing the words, and, and they're going in a direction I didn't know I was going to go. Almost inevitably, when I start out working with a text, writing a sermon, uh, it'll take me someplace I didn't anticipate. It's not like you, you, know, you create a little outline and fix, find a text to fit it. <laughs> if you really throw yourself into a lesson, it's going to take you on a journey you didn't know you were going on. That, that's the whole spirit thing I think Luke was talking about. Now, if it also involves uh, being able to do in front of a congregation what he did, which is to sing with that brilliant voice, then uh, I, I probably need to be a barber or something.